about seven or eight years ago, I hear I there was a lot of talk about a nuclear renaissance. I just thought about that, and I just considered, you know, on the one hand, more nuclear power plants. On the other hand, a population that really doesn't understand radiation very well at all. And that just doesn't seem like a very good mix. And so I thought, you know, probably people can understand some pretty basic things about radiation and radioactivity. So the, the question I asked myself was, I wonder how much students can figure out about radioactivity using inquiry-based teaching methods. These materials are developed um, under the support of a National Science Foundation grant. And the purpose of the grant was just to find out what can be taught and what tools and techniques are needed to teach radioactivity. If you think about it, there's a lot of radiation in our lives, like everybody gets an x-ray. Radiation literacy is basically three things. It's knowing what radiation is, where it comes from, and how it can harm people. We always start with helping the students understand that there's something they don't understand. They naturally have curiosity. Students come into my classroom and they're expecting the same old kind of science class that they've experienced before, whatever that was. So we do a number of activities at first to kind of warm them up and those make a difference. Um, once we get into the, the content, like the radio, radioactivity content or the radiation content, then they're, they're really mostly interested in it. And so they're, they're, some are actually grateful or relieved that actually they can understand science after all. And once they find that out, then most of them start asking questions. And so when they find out they can actually understand it, they're, they're pretty excited about it. They find it pretty exhilarating and they enjoy it. If you just present students with the information and just try to tell them what they need to know, that they might be able to repeat back what you said to them, but they don't actually understand what they're saying. If you want students to actually understand physics, they have to do a lot of work on it themselves. They have to basically figure it out. And so inquiry-based teaching just makes it obvious. Once they buy in and once they see how the class is working, if they're just willing to go along with it, then it can really be a lot of fun. My aha moments come when I figure out what a student's problem is. Oh, I see. This student is thinking that way. And no wonder they don't understand this because they're seeing it this totally different way. And the inquiry method enables me to discover these things. But the aha moments actually happen with the students. That's that, They're the ones who say, oh, I see. The radiation is coming from these nuclei that have the wrong number of neutrons. So it's just really interesting and enjoyable to watch somebody else figure these things out. Students actually learn more things. They learn about what science is like. They learn that science is about making sense of the world. And it's not just accumulating information or solving problems at the back of the chapter, but it's about making sense and having the world be more meaningful.